So in this question, we will be using properties of inverse and adjoint of a matrix. We have certain properties like A inverse is defined as adjoint A by determinant A. And here it is given that A, B and this matrix are non-singular matrix. Means the determinant is not zero and they're invertible. So this is one property we'll be using. A inverse is adjoint A by determinant A. So from here we can write adjoint A is A inverse into determinant A. And if you replace A by A inverse, then you get adjoint of A inverse is A inverse the inverse and determinant of A inverse, which will be A into determinant A raised to minus one. Then we will also be using the property that if we have three matrix PQR and we are taking inverse of it, then inverse will be distributed in all three, but it will be in the reverse order. First R inverse, then Q inverse, then B inverse. Now coming to the question, we have to find the inverse of this three matrix in multiplication and then we will be taking its inverse. So A into adjoint A inverse plus adjoint B inverse, this summation whole inverse and into B and this complete pictures inverse we need to take. So we will be using this property. First we'll write B inverse. Then inverse of this, so inverse will go off, adjoint A inverse plus adjoint B inverse and inverse of this A, which is A inverse. Now what we can do is in place of adjoint A inverse, we can write it as A into determinant A raised to minus one. So it will be B inverse A into, or you can say A by determinant A. This can be written as A by determinant A. Plus this will be B by determinant B into A inverse. Now further this B inverse will be multiplied by A. That is the first part. And that will be multiplied by A inverse. So B inverse A, A inverse by determinant A. And second part will be B inverse multiplied by B into A inverse. So B inverse, B, A inverse by determinant B. And we all know that A, A inverse is I and B inverse B is also I. So it is B inverse by determinant A plus A inverse by determinant B. And one last time we'll be using A inverse as adjoint A by determinant A. So it will be adjoint B by determinant B determinant A. In place of A inverse, we'll be writing adjoint A by determinant A determinant B. So denominator is common in both the terms. We can take it out and we can write it as one by determinant A determinant B can be written as determinant AB. And we have adjoint B plus adjoint A. Let's see whether this is given in any of the options or not. It seems option C and yes, that is the answer.